In this particular lecture, let's focus on removing this particular warning which we have. So this warning says that each child in a list should have a unique key prop. And what this is essentially trying to say is that if we go back to our code, it says that uh, this list which we are rendering actually is all fine and good. However, the problem with this specific list is that it does not have the key attribute. So the question is how exactly to add key attribute. So it says that the key attribute is actually missing from each child in the list. So the child inside our list is nothing but this heading, which is the H3 type. And now we simply need to add a key to this. So I could simply add a key attribute here. And I could say that the key is going to be something like the product itself. So I could say product here not products. And if I do that, if I go back here, and if I hit refresh, as you can see, the warning disappeared. And that's because we have added the key. However, this is not a good thing to do. And I'll show you in a minute why. Let's say now you have this particular list. And let's say you have another element called as laptop in your list. So let's see what happens in this case. So if you go back here, if you hit refresh, it will say that encounter two children with the same key, which is laptop. And it says that keys should be unique so that components maintain their identity across updates. So the problem with this particular key attribute is that you could set any attribute to be the key. However, that particular key attribute, which you set should be unique. However, now what's happening is that this laptop as well as this laptop element have the same ID. And it also says that why the IDs or the keys should be unique. The keys should be unique so that components can maintain their identity across updates. Now, first of all, we need to understand why exactly these keys are required. So the reason why these keys are required is that let's say if you have multiple such components here rendered like this. And now let's say if React wants to update one of those components. So let's say now React wants to update a component, which is this laptop right here. So React performs this specific update depending upon the value of the key. And if two elements have the same value for key, then both of those elements would be updated and we don't want that. Therefore, this is the reason why keys must have unique values. But now the problem is that how to add a unique value to each one of those products which we have up over here. So in order to do that, what we do is that instead of just creating a simple list of products, we instead create an array of objects. So right now, this is an array of strings where each product is simply a string. So this is a string, this is a string, this is a string, so on and so forth. And the products are actually denoted by a simple string. But technically, you should actually list every product as an object and each object should have properties like the name of the product, the ID of the product and the price of the product. And that way, when you have the ID, you could use that ID property as a unique key for each product. So we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.